If you guys want to see how you can fold your mirrors guys when you lock your BMW 3 or 4 series, then we just will explain how we can activate that function now. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you having a BMW 3 or 4 series, specifically that generation, from year 2013 to year 2019. If you have one of those, you want to see how to actually fold your mirrors when you lock the doors with your key fob, the remote control, when you press the button to actually fold the mirrors. Stay with us, we'll explain how we can program that function. It takes only a few minutes and you'll be able to easily do it. So all that will be covered step by step today. But before we start guys, let me tell you a little bit about us. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We guys take them completely apart, we show you how to fix pretty much anything. Transmissions, engines, uh, suspension, bodywork, anything. Why we do that? Because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep making these free videos. And if you need to buy any parts tools for your BMW at a really good price and quick shipping, check out the link in the description of the video below. So let's start on it now. When you guys do coding, we have a battery charger connected right here, you can see or diagnostics, you have to have stable voltage, otherwise, okay, things can go chaotic, it can interrupt coding and you can damage your vehicle, so make sure you have good battery voltage through the whole time. So let's explain how you can simply connect, okay, the port to now. Uh, you guys have the uh, wired connection that you can do, okay, with the OBD and USB, but this is the Bluetooth wireless, this is amazing, guys that little bitty device it's super powerful just when you do diagnostics coding especially guys okay just to avoid interruptions with other bluetooths and wi-fi's it's recommended if you use bluetooth turn your uh, wi-fi off and turn all your other bluetooth connections off okay now i'm going to go ahead plug it in here okay it's very tight fit by the way let me see now okay perfect you see lights will go there guys now okay you can see and once it connects okay we have one uh, green light blinking there as well here let us show you now on the inside what you will need to do it's recommended guys to turn the ignition switch on have a battery charger okay to keep constant supply on the battery because when you do calling diagnostics you should have stable voltage above 12.5 even if you're tired of that message at the beginning you want to get rid of it you can program it with that thing so now we're going to open the phone okay uh, and this is guys the app right here here we're going to select the bluetooth connection and if i scroll down i click right here okay you're going to see the bluetooth okay we're going to click beamer gigs the password for ours was one two three four okay it's a safe device okay or it's uh, there you can see right now available devices and this is it right here now what i need to do at that point okay i go back to the app and i click connect connect you can see it says we recommend disabling wi-fi and any other bluetooth connections so it doesn't interfere we're going to go ahead and connect it now it's finishing up things may start dinging in the car okay now confirm Perfect. You have all the different okay computers here now available. So before we continue, check this thing out. Some things that we did, we actually programmed to have a temperature gauge. We have a video how to do that and actually to see the actual pressure and temperature of the tires as well. But what you will need to do now, okay, here we're going to go to vehicle, select uh, multi ECU, select coding right here. After that, you're going to go ahead, wait a little bit close okay now here guys we need to find that one there is so many things okay but mirror control okay via fob fob that's the uh, key fob so we're going to click that one now it's loading the data it's going to ask you to back up okay the coding data so you have it i'll back it up just to have it here we'll call it bmw f30 file 7 okay now here okay let's see where it is we're going to go to so many bulbs and things like that let's see where it went 
that's window control I missed it somewhere so uh, let's see now bulb 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 okay door hand away with the running fog lights front window radio let me see variable light distribution let me see where that thing went that's crazy window control so it's not here if i go to standard let me see here if i can find it by the way okay horn at lock automatic lock speed power window option one two so mirrors somewhere we have to have a uh, thing that's for the mirrors itself electric windows rear fog lamps so let me see exactly where that thing went guys okay specifically so i actually guys found it give me just a second it's connecting to the module again i want to show you exactly where it's located okay we're going to go right here through okay the standard okay through the standard function we're going to scroll down okay all the way to mirrors practically guys okay watch now it's it will take a little bit of time ambient light brighter okay uh, let me see now it should be any time number of spray poses headlight washer max speed folding mirrors installed enabled mirror heating disabled close mirror with fob okay click that one click enable confirm automatic curb angle change open mirrors with key fob okay enable confirm go ahead finalize it's coding it's going to, we're going to give it just a little bit of time now since it needs to finish coding you can see you may notice things may turn on and off okay right here in the car it says finishing up now okay you can see it's resetting lights will be on chassis stabilization things like that because it's actually resetting things so now it's clearing all the errors and all that will go away guys soon so coding has finalized we're going to go ahead cycle the ignition okay like that we click close right now <coughs> that function enabled open with key fob close with key fob enabled so what we're going to do now guys okay let's go ahead turn the car off i'm going to come outside we're going to okay lock the car close it so let's test it now guys we're going to press and hold for three to five seconds okay and mirrors work you can see just like that so that's pretty cool right you can actually use the folding mirrors now and you don't need to worry about anybody hitting them hopefully the video will be helpful thank you guys for watching and see you next time